so excited to talk to you about what we found in the Amazon this week. First, we have to introduce the players. There's two players here. The first are the tree hoppers and the family Membracidae. These are the insects that you can see covering this entire fruit stem, and you can see a bunch of different life stages. You can see the adults. You can see this little nymph with like barely growing in its wings. And every now and then you can see a mating pair just like walk over everyone's heads and uh, just hang out. Great living in insect communities. The second player is that of the stingless bees. Stingless bees are exactly what they sound like. They are bees that can no longer sting. They have secondarily lost their stinger. What makes this find so interesting is that they are in a symbiotic relationship, which just means living together, and more specifically, a mutualism, which means that both parties are benefiting. This symbiosis is mostly documented with ants and hoppers versus bees and hoppers, which is why I found this so interesting. Again, because this biology is mainly documented in ants, we're going to be making some speculations about what's going on here. What we know is that membracids and other hoppers have almost an entirely sugar-based diet. They drink mainly plant sap, which is very high in sugars and very low in other nutrients and minerals that you need to live. So to be able to get those other nutrients and minerals, these tree hoppers just need to drink a ton. It goes in and out in essentially the exact same form. This sugar poop water attracts a lot of attention, mainly from that of other insects that would be foraging for sugars and need to bring it back to their colony or their nest. This is why we see this a lot with ants and also right now we're seeing it be stingless bees. Stingless bees do live in colonies and they do need to bring forage material back to their home. So what's going on here? These tree hoppers are drinking in the sugary fluid. It is coming out in the exact same form called honeydew, and these stingless bees are foraging that sugary poop from these tree hoppers, so that way they can eventually bring it back to their colony. Why this is considered a mutualism, while well, the bees are getting food, but the membracids are also getting protection from the stingless bees. Yes, the stingless bees are stingless, but that does not mean that they are defenseless. While we're too big for stingless bees to have really any effect on this, stingless bees will attack smaller animals and specifically bite like sensitive areas near the eyes or the nose or the side of the mouth, which can be really annoying, especially if there's literally like hundreds of them going after you. So these stingless bees are stingless, but not defenseless, which means that they can still protect the membracids and their food source. 